guys welcome to my channel this is a general reading for the sign of pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them i want to thank everyone for the love and support that they have shown me towards my channel and for my new subscribers welcome if this reading resonates with you please like share and subscribe and remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when videos are posted so pisces we are about to go into pisces season in less than 24 hours and the message and the feeling that I'm getting is they try to sabotage you. This is a person that you've been dealing with or a person that you were dealing with, Pisces. And it's just been little things that are happening. Little, I don't know, little slick shit that's been happening. Okay, so the first card that fell out was the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, working on your money. I don't know what is up with that card, but the Nine of Cups is like your wish fulfillment card. It's like um, emotional and physical satisfaction, self-satisfaction, rewards from your hard work, rewards of generosity and shared wealth. So Pisces, but this is something that you wish for, that you now, you have obtained. And almost feeling like to me like you're working hard just like I said earlier but this is like combining your wealth with someone so maybe a partner or a loved one a significant other Pisces maybe okay this is the king of pentacles and then you have the eight of pentacles which like I said is working on your money working on your skills um laying the foundation laying the groundwork working on your talents this is like if you're a performer um going into the studio making your music if you're an artist going and basically learning the skills that you need to be able to complete the task is what it feels like um focusing on the task at hand because sometimes places we get a little bit off track and we get distracted so right now focusing on working on your money Focusing on what you need and what it's going to take to get you to the next level, Pisces. Um, then you have the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is like a great leader. They have a natural head for business. They like enjoying the good life. They like material abundance. So this is like starting your own business or working with a person that you, you know, a friend, a significant other, a partner, and starting your own business. This is also like, feels like to me like a team leader, um, on your job you know whatever job you're actually into right now you could have just become head of your department that you're working with for the company that you're working with Pisces but right now this is the person who is in a leadership role spirit what messages do you have for Pisces So we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is on a quest for romance, true love, or service to a higher power. Pisces, you got all types of cards falling out. Now you have the Page of Wands. This is like dealing with intense feelings. This is like something that feels very new, very innocent. It makes you want to just kind of, you know, be all in love, be very open and like I don't want to say naive but this is what it kind of feels like um, it also is you may need, need to open up and allow others to see the real you because some of us Pisces are like very cold hearted and we don't give a fuck who wants to see what or how or who some of us are just over the relationship aspect of like giving people your heart and them just basically trashing it and doing whatever they want to do. So it's like you don't really want to deal with anything or anybody. You just want to be by yourself and you just don't have time. So this person in particular, like it says, on a quest for romance, maybe because Valentine's just passed people are you know supposedly wanting to be out wanting to enjoy you know just love and being all emotional and just being all given and everything with the person but some of us some of you Pisces are just not into it 
Like, literally, you're not here for it. You're done. And you don't give a damn about that. Um, Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is excited about love. Wish fulfillment. Ten, ten of Cups. Pisces. Um, the Page is, like, excited about love. Excited about life. It's like following your own path. This is a traveler card. So, there could be Pisces that are out traveling the world. Um, either you're going on vacation for your birthday, um, hanging out with your friends, just basically excited about what's to come for Pisces season. This is like passion and being very creative, experiencing life for what it is, um, trying to make something new. So this is like trying to revitalize maybe a relationship that you've been in that you're happy about, but you know, trying to bring it into something new, hot and fresh. Good Lord. Um, see what we got Pisces um this is also about trying to figure out your life's purpose on your spiritual journey and now new things are you know happening and entering into your life and it's like you're not really sure of really what to do how to do it but you're going to figure this thing out you're on a mission and this is what you want to do so we have the queen of cups the moon um the ten of pentacles the three of pentacles, the three of wands, and the sun, okay? And so, just so you know, here we are. The sun, three of wands, three of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the moon, and the queen of cups. I'm not taking any of these cards, but I'm just going to tell you exactly what I'm feeling like or what I'm feeling from them. So, right off the bat, the sun, as you know, is a yes card. So, and the three of wands is like a traveler card, another one, basically trying to figure out what you want to do, reaping the rewards, limitless opportunities, change and transition, new doors are opening and you're making your own decisions. Then there's like the three of pentacles is like a teamwork. So you could be working with, you know, three people, um, or just trying to build with a team. But the 10 of pentacles is like bringing, you know, your everything that you've ever wanted, bringing it into like close to you affluence abundance financial success prosperity generational wealth karmic gifts security like obtaining everything so this is making me feel like somebody is actually getting everything that they want but it's almost as if they're afraid they're afraid of what can happen because like i said they have the moon and the moon is like changes dreams fear unnecessary fear this is greatly connected to your subconscious so it represents the thoughts the feelings the doubts everything that you carry internally so although you know that you put a manifestation out into the earth out into the world up into heaven in the heavens it's like you're still worried about whether or not you're going to get exactly what you want and then like with the queen of cups this is like everybody coming to you you're very nurturing you're very intuitive you care about everybody around you you're very artistic you're very creative you are a deep emotional thinker you're deeply connected to your spiritual side so it's like the fears that you're having or the doubts it's like picking up somebody else's energy and because you're very empathic so pisces is making me feel like you know that you're going to get what you want you're going to obtain everything that you've ever your heart's desired like anything that you've ever wished for dreamed of everything but some of should I say like um, the doubts that you have could be coming from other people is what it makes me feel like so that's that um, 10 10 right off the bat you have 10 of cups I didn't go over this card yet um, emotional fulfillment security a wellness awareness of a full balanced life completion belonging finding your family or soul tribe community achieving in life like what you've always wanted and appreciating the gifts that life has given you so pisces it almost feels like to me like you know you're destined for greatness you've been feeling it your whole entire life you've been feeling it since you were a child everything now is manifesting into your adulthood and maybe it's not manifesting as fast as you would like for it to but pisces pisces is definitely manifesting okay so we have the empress this is about harvest birth the birth of a child like i keep telling you guys this card keeps coming up keeps coming up 
fruition somebody's going to end up pregnant somebody's getting married there's like a lot of blessings actually being brought into your life somebody's going to renew their vows um this is about being able to or wanting to start a family um again another nurturing person pisces we are very giving we take care of others this is the person who takes care of everybody like i said i keep saying that pisces about you we take care of everybody and everything but who has us so right now this is like rebirthing or birthing your ideas and bringing them into reality so for the people who don't want to have kids this is about maybe your book your music your poetry your art anything that is creative bringing those things into fruition building your business this is like birthing your baby whatever it is that your hearts your dreams that whatever you have dreamed about or thought about pisces this is what you're now wanting to bring forth to you this is about creating a legacy on the flip side of this pisces it also makes me feel like getting closer to your mother somebody might need to you know kind of sit down and have a conversation with their mother maybe you guys might not have been on the best of pages but as your mother is getting older maybe the mother needs to talk to the child but this is what it makes me feel like there's a connection that needs to be made a connection that needs to be had and it's not there so reach out to your mother or reach out to your your kids please spirit what does pisces need to know what messages do you have for pisces spirit Okay, so we have the queen of wands lots of female energy going down this doesn't have to be a uh, male or female but lots of female energy going down so we have the queen of wands the queen is confident she's wise she's experienced this is like a person being a teacher uh being very positive being very optimistic and they're good at in inspiring others what messages do you have for Pisces Pisces I told you guys from the beginning that I was feeling like somebody's trying to stand in your way somebody's trying to stop you from your destiny it's almost as if they keep throwing little roadblocks in your way they keep trying to speak ill of you or they keep talking negative or they just keep trying to do little things and it's like this person is still watching your every move like little bugs I feel like like tapping your phone or just putting a GPS on your vehicle or just calling your friends and trying to communicate with them about where you are just basically trying to interfere in your life trying to stop your money trying to stop your flow just trying to take you all the way out of the game because they're upset and they're mad that you're blessed hmm as I'm saying it tower card and you guys all know what that is like things falling apart this is something like this person the whole relationship the whole friendship the whole just empire falling apart and it's like this person just can't let go so you know what the tower card is falling apart sudden changes clearing away the tower represents destruction and this is what i feel like this person wants for you pisces but they're so mad and they're so jealous that they can't stop it everything about this person you already knew about you try to move away you basically just decided that you don't want anything to do with this person at all period so you let this whole relationship crumble there was like nothing you could do about it anyway because the person was just like destined to try to keep like trying to stop you or trying to like hinder you and you saw this so and this this situation happened very very fast Pisces just like out of the blue but you already saw that this person wasn't any good they were just no good at all period this person did not have your best interest at heart at all, at all period Pisces and you were trying to figure out why it was that you know certain things were just not going the right way when the only only person that you told was them and come to find out this person was on a sabotage mission so everything about this person this relationship the situation fell apart and you were okay with it pisces because you ended up just waiting until everything was over waiting until the dust settled and then you started putting back the pieces of your life this person had you like feeling like you just were your hands were tied 
Pisces. You didn't know what to do. Excuse me. Your hands were tied because you felt like that you were with this person for so long and you just didn't know if you were gonna be able to make it Pisces. But at the end of the day, you survived, you made it, you were strong, you got rid of that person, you walked away and you took away that power from them. So the Eight of Swords, you feeling like your hands were tied, you were feeling like you were powerless, negative like thoughts, imprisonment, victim mentality. Every single bit of that, Pisces, you have recovered from. You're over that, and you just want to push forward. You want to move into your happily ever after, your destiny. This business person, this strong, um, independent person who is manifesting their dream life. But this person just won't let things go because they keep trying to nitpick and keep trying to push in your life. So you have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is like getting away, Pisces, like trying to move away into something that is better for you, and that's what you have done. So it was like transitioning into the next phase, running away. Like I said, you had to get away from that person. Going through the storm to get to calmer waters. You were over that whole entire relationship, over in that whole entire situation. Then you have the Four of Swords, which was like a lot of rest, a lot of like meditation, contemplation, processing your emotions because it was hard you know being away from out of the situation being away from this person but you knew this person was going to bring you down and now you're building everything Pisces picking up the pieces of your relationship your life and you've moved on but there's little things that keep happening Pisces that keep reminding you or keep allowing you to know that someone is really trying to do something to you there's like been like little things happening um just you know that this person has been around your house or you know this person has touched your car or you know this person has done things to basically try to stop your money with certain people. You can feel it, you you just know for a fact that this is happening. But it's almost as if it's like kind of driving you a little bit crazy because you don't have the proof. You just see like the stuff when it's happening and you know it's kind of weird but it's like who do you tell? Um, then you have the 10. Again, 10, 10. I keep having this whole entire thing. 10 of Wands. 10 of Wands is like commitment and ded dedication. Feeling weighed down. Exhausted. Um, too many responsibilities. Feeling overwhelmed. Too many burdens. Trying to go through all the projects that you have and get them done. It's like keep pushing. You're almost to the end. You need a fresh perspective. And it's like don't give up. Endless rewards when you're done. When you're done. Part of the reason why you're feeling like overwhelmed is because you've been pushing, you've been pushing, you've been pushing, and you're wondering why things are not moving fast enough. And like I said, Pisces, this person is just standing around praying for your downfall. They've been probably trying to speak, you know, negative words, trying to do little spell casting against you when it's not working, Pisces. It's not working for them. And they're trying to figure out why it is and how it is that you're able to keep pushing forward. This is your season, Pisces. Can't nobody stop you. Okay, so. Eight of Cups and the King of Wands. The Eight of Cups, and then here goes these eights again. And I can't remember whose reading had all these eights in them. But I ended up doing something. I can't remember what it was. If I'm not mistaken, I think Scorpio had this in their reading. And the number eights represent material abundance and career success this is also a very spiritual number so i'm i'm not really sure like i said but these eights keep coming out and now you're getting a whole gang of eights over here um then we have the king of wands the king of wands is like taking charge delegating they're good at influencing others they're focused at making things the way that they want them they fo they're focused at you know creating a situation that they want. And Pisces, you're good at creating a situation that you want. You're great at manifesting. You're great at getting exactly what you want and how you want it, Pisces. So we're going to continue to keep manifesting. We're going to continue to keep working. We're going to continue to keep bringing things to us, closer to us, bringing things into fruition. And Pisces, you're going to... Okay. So here we have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about slow, reaping your rewards, but like a slow reward. Um, Reevaluating your situation. It's about being patient. It's about planning. And it's about seeing the results of your hard work. 
um, and just waiting on something to grow. So it makes me feel like somebody has been investing their money and they're trying to see like, you know, how it's gonna plan, how it's gonna pan out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Wow. Okay, so first card, hangman. We have justice, knight of pentacles, and judgment. And you notice I put all them cards back in that deck and not one of them came out at all, period. This is a whole new set of cards. Okay, so this is making me feel like somebody has a situation that's being held up in court and you're waiting on it. There's a judgment that's about to be rendered. And it's almost making me feel like somebody is going to be free from a situation pretty soon. So I don't know if this is like a divorce or a separation that's been going on, but it's like you've been held up. Something is being held up in a court system. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is making me feel like you've been working hard. You've been trying to kind of be very strategic, even in how you're, you know, handling the situation as it's coming up in court. And maybe you might have been, you know, trying to take a break from social media because you know this person is paying attention to you. You know this person is like kind of watching your every move, but you're you're just you're gonna get what it is that you're looking for you're trying to be very balanced but you want this um judgment this justice com to come in very swiftly so whatever this court system this court situation is pisces it seems like to me like you're about to get the information that you've been waiting for and these people over here look very happy so that should be telling you something and also this card is about a spiritual awakening this is because you can see like the angel right there you can see the people below so this is also like coming into your spiritual gifts and being called to a higher power um this card fell out this guy i haven't seen him in a hot little second so seven of swords lies deceit secrecy betrayal deception looking out for sneaky behavior somebody has somebody around them that's basically doing something that is not so you're not gonna like it um so it's like trusting your intuition i also feel like somebody is trying to escape from a situation that they no longer want to be in and maybe you're not telling the person the truth but you need to kind of face this head on and Pisces if this is not you but you feel like the other person is like kind of moving away from you it's like they're going to sneak out they're trying to sneak away from you and they're not going to tell you they're just trying to ghost you and beat feet without you knowing they don't want to deal with the wrath they don't want the shark to come out they're used to dealing with the mermaid but you definitely need to pay attention to whatever is happening around you Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups actually came back out. So as I told you before, a quest of the heart for romance. So this makes me feel like somebody has definitely been entertaining or entertaining a situation and they're trying to figure out if this person is really for them. Do you really want to be with this person? Um, can you see yourself living the rest of your life with this person? Um, do you want to start a business with this person? But basically trying to offer your cup to this person being very flirtatious with this person. So this could be somebody at your job or somebody that you know, like, you know, just a person that you've been hanging out with, but it's like you've been flirting back and forth, but you're not really sure about whether or not you want to engage in a relationship with this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Pisces, this card is also giving me the feeling like because this look how he look he's he's out here by himself like staying in your own lane and just following your own path like you're creating your own lane you're moving forward in life and you're not focused on anybody else you're just out here doing what you do that's what this is making me feel like spirit what messages do you have for pisces here we go again um just like i told you before pisces um the little devil watching you i keep telling you about this card it makes me feel like always he's disoriented this is about drug use like a person always always like every time you turn around they're there always in your business always trying to like convince you that 
this is what you need or this is what you need to do or just basically trying to sway you off of your path like I just told you but you're staying in your own lane you're not you're not fucking with that um this card is about addiction drugs alcohol obsessions attachments temptations dark destructive patterns um, this card leaves you feeling powerless because you know what you want to do and how you want to do it but it's like people are standing in your way or this person is standing in your way and it's like how do I get away from this person how do I move away from this situation but Pisces all you have to do is just I want to say bulldoze bulldoze through the situation and if you have to take this person and i'm not saying take them out you know whatever but just basically focus on your path get this person bulldoze through and get these people away from you so however you have to make this happen you hold the keys to your own freedom it's up to you you must release and let go so this is basically up to you. This person cannot stand in your way at all, period. This person is so mad that they can't stand in your way. So keep pushing forward. Then you have the King of Swords. This is like a great communicator. Um, they're very smart. This represents structure, power, authority. This is like a logical deep thinker. This can be a lover, a father, a close friend family member um and like i said earlier this card also because i feel like somebody is having a situation that is based basically in the court this represents legal matters law enforcement military police and judges so the person you're dating the person that's actually doing this thing could be like in i don't want to say like a special forces or something but like police military so it's like they've been getting away with some of the things that they've been doing because they're being backed i guess by this the law or the judicial system or something so they feel like they can get away with things or this can also just be a person who feels like they're above the law so they don't give a fuck they just start to do shit you know just because they feel like they can but in the end this person is going to get exactly what they deserve Pisces. and then you have the six of cups and the Six of Cups is like being nostalgic, thinking about the way things used to be, um, like trying to figure out how what you wanted in the past can kind of like help you now in the future, being very sentimental. I also feel like when you see this card, it looks like somebody was giving flowers. A God giving you flowers or a child giving their mother flowers. That's what it makes me feel like. And one thing I never noticed at all, period, was there's a little man back here walking away. I never saw that at all, period, in this card. Every time I look at this card, it gives me something different. But this person is like, this person looks like a giant compared to maybe the mom, or I don't know if this is supposed to be the kid or something, but this looks like a little old lady right here, and this person is like towering over them. So this could be like a person who's larger than life that's paying you some attention, and they're sending you flowers, they're, you know, kind of saying that they want to be with you, or they're trying to, you know, love on you or something, but it's making me feel like just this person is, you know, trying to be very sweet to you. So... Here we go, Queen of Wands, back out again. And as I told you before, very confident, very wise, very experienced, um, a teacher. This person is very positive, very optimistic, and they're very good at inspiring others. So Pisces, I feel like this person that's very confident, very wise, very experienced, stepping into the teacher role, I feel like that's like an energy that you're carrying right now. You're being very positive. You're having a very good um, outlook on life even though there's things that are coming against you you're still out here you're trying to have a positive attitude you're still trying to inspire others you know to kind of come into their spiritual awakenings come into their gifts coming to just the person that they are even though you're under attack by god knows who this little devil team um and their minions so Pisces, this is your reading. If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when videos are posted.